There's some out there already. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna say we're early. Uh, you know what, I actually, I am early. It's now 5.39, I got up at 3.45 this morning. So we're actually on fork today, so it's got a weird slot. You can't keep anything, I think it's like 16, 24 inches. We're basically looking for four fish under 16 inches and one over 24, so. That's pretty much that goal. We stuck 27 brush piles on this lake like weeks ago. We haven't practiced for this tournament. A lot of these people were here yesterday. We didn't practice. We're just gonna come out here, run the brush piles, run some stuff we already knew, and, that, and we're just gonna roll with it. So basically, if you guys catch, if you catch a two pounder, like if it's like a two three or two two, and it's under 16 inches, that son of a gun's like equivalent to like a six pounder in a normal tournament because of the slot here on four. You, you catch a lot of fish, that are like three and a half to six pounds. Like you catch, there's like there's a lot of those on Lake Fork. That's why when you guys see the, the elites come here every year, they do that for a reason. It's because they make the weights look really, because there's a lot of five, four or five pound fish. There's a lot of them, there really is. They done a the Texas Fish and Wildlife, they done a phenomenal job. The fishery department, they done a phenomenal job at managing this lake. So it's pretty much that, I know, I'm excited, I feel good. I've got, Cammy gave me a get ton of stuff to eat today, which I hope he's got toilet paper in the boat. I'm I'm a little nervous. I didn't now. know San Antonio was still a company, honestly. Uh, the San Antonio pros are here. We better, this ain't we better it. get our shit together. <laughs> we'll probably have to do a factory reset <laughs> to just make it work. Oh, the birds are the best. Gosh, dude, that thing's the biggest turd. I thought about getting a big turd sticker and just putting on the. <laughs> it, it's not very user friendly. 602, huh? Go back. Y'all have a good day. All right. 29, about 29. I don't guess you. Have this is just to see if you're fishing your life well. Good thing they don't know we got them in a box out here. Yeah, we got freaking <laughs> two six pounders in the cooler. Yeah, out of the cooler. They're ready to go. Good. I'm ready. All right, I got some uh, some good news. All my stuff made it. Look at this thing. thing. Oh, shit, yeah, that came off. It's, it's, uh, it's not hit you in the face. I like, love orange bottom top water. It's only two of them. And I've got one of them sitting right here. These bags right here are the absolute bee's knees. Look at this thing. Well, Mondo worm action. Plum, that sounds good, right? Plum crazy. Plum has a little brighter blue in it. I'm just gonna let them eat it and then I'll be that. Does that look good? Do you like that? <coughs> How's it feel? I'm feel real good, yeah. I'm just having to look down at my point one and see when I got it. Fish? Yeah. Good one? Yeah. It's a big one. Damn, it's a big fish. Dude, that may be an over. Get the net. <laughs> I don't think it is, but it's a good fish. I'm sorry, that was kind of funny. <laughs> dude, I'm just saying, I mean, he I, said, I oh, these said, a lot, and that's said, a big one, dude. Like, you said, son a of a big fish, and it ain't wanting to come up. You're going to have to get it as soon as it gets up here. There's nothing over it. <laughs> no, it's short. Damn. Dude, I thought I had it over. God dang it. 23 inch. You ever, you ever see somebody get so bad about catching such a big fish? <laughs> Dude, it's it's a 10 pound head, but it's freaking, see how its body shortens down? That sucks, man. Told you it's freaking slot fish hole. My dad lost like a 10 pounder here in the Sealy tournament one time. It's just, yeah. I'm sorry, dude, it's kind of, I'm, dude, it's funny. Know. Hold on. That, it's that, just funny dude. how you, you used to get so irritated. Do you have the, you have the check it stick? Yeah, but it's under all your rocks. Oh, don't worry. I, I brought all those just for you. Please be long. That fish is long, dude. Hurry up. I'm telling you, dude. We finally, we finally did. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if you guys do not have this right here, you guys are a co-angler. You're gonna see me inside this video. I'm on my buddy's boat, fishing out of his boat. So I brought my rods. This right here, you need this in your life. This thing is awesome, look at this. Look, put my stuff in a bass mafia bag. There's my, I actually need to, you know what? I need to put that back in the boat. Oh my terminal. I mean, I didn't have to see it completely filled up. Look, I keep these things all the time. I got toilet paper in this one. Look at all the baits we keep in these things. 
you guys need to grab one of these. There's a big one and a smaller one. I had the big one with on this trip. This is like the medium sized one. This is the one I'd probably tell you guys if you guys are fishing the opens, fishing tournaments out of your buddy's boat, or you know, you just want to keep stuff in the back of your truck like organized, you need to snag one of those. I'll link them at the very top of the description. Everything is 10% off. Use code Lunkers at GooginSquad.com right now. We just dropped all this new apparel that you guys are seeing coming across the screen somehow because my camera guy is really neat and cool. So yeah, go check it out. Link to the top of the description. Anyway, I'm um, being very sincere. You need to check this thing out. Like, I'm not gonna say I wasn't a fan out the gate of them. I just didn't really know how I was gonna utilize them other than putting them in the back of my truck full of extra tackle. But then when I actually utilize it in someone else's boat, I'm like, oh my God, that's that's the best thing ever. Cause you don't have to use his terminal. You don't have to use any of their stuff. You bring your own stuff. It's out of the way. If, rain, if it's raining, you zip it up and guess what? Ain't nothing get inside of it. This is the medium one. This thing is awesome. Little tackle toter. I love it. Seriously, go check them out. You need to snag one if you don't have it. I usually throw your underwear and socks and extra stuff. Carry on luggage, strap it around the seat. This thing comes, I mean, it's really neat. I really, really like it. But if you guys want a pond hop, look, they got that thing too, which that's what those came out of. Or this, if you want to go the old school traditional one, it comes with all this stuff inside of here. All that comes inside this bag. So, I don't know. I really love these tackle toters. These things right here, these things are awesome. Medium, large. The large one's that big one, the medium one is clearly the small one. So that's that. Enjoy this video, check it out. Top of the description, I love you. Dude, that's what just it takes a long ass fish to reach that shit. Look at she's that. 24 she's, she's on this side. On that side. We'll gamble with her. She's touching. We'll take she's touching on that side. Well, hopefully she'll relax. Oh. <laughs> so you it touched on one side and anywhere that i've had like measured no, fish you're supposed to flip you, you, you'll be fine so as long as she doesn't like tense up inside that live well all day no and that's why we're going to g juice the shit out of her and try to relax her hey you gotta be happy though i've never seen so okay just i've been throwing the mondo worm if i had that mondo worm on a lighter weight I'd still be throwing it. I'm only throwing this because of the lighter weight to glide it in the brush. Yep. Big fish? I don't think so. My drag's slipping. Like, I don't know what's going on with my drag, but that is a fish. Maybe the net or anything? I don't. Is this a fish? It's got to be, right? Yeah. Oh, that may be. That's, a, right. that's a good kind right there. Yeah, my drag's slipping like crazy. You need a net. I'm gonna flip them. That's the right size too, oh, dude. That's close. It may be a little big, but oh, that's that's perfect. That's, that's it. perfect. My damn drag was really slipping. Dude, this one's gonna be barely over 16. Is it? Nope. 16 and an eight. I told you. That's so goofy. I was starting to think we weren't gonna catch a single fish off this spot, and I'm like, dude, that just got a funny. Dude, I've been. We're either in bad ass shape or we're in terrible shape. <laughs> I don't know which way it is. I don't know which way it is gonna go. Your boat's pissing. Oh my god. Is that in? I'll still do this just for you. Uh, it's like a, probably a four or five pounder. It's fighting way harder than that last big one. But the he, last big one looked like it was about to die. Well, but you can just feel that one didn't have the pull. Is it 17, 18? Mm -hmm. This is the most underrated bait they make. Or we make, I guess, to say they make. No, we I, make. I do like that Oops. bait. Better than a brush hog or a baby brush hog. I don't know. Straight off to the right. So, like right through here? Yep. About to come through it. About to come through it. Oh, the turtle. Turtle. Damn. I'm giving these, these shorts so far an A. Plus. I told them I was iffy on the liner with it being so hot. And they're like, no, we. we Are you wearing underwear? Mm mm. And they said, they said, no, the liner's really expensive. It's like the good quality stuff. I said, okay, well, I'll wear it and tell you guys. Shit's fucking awesome. Got him. You got him. Come on, be right, be right, be right. Dude, he looks too big, but he's probably been out here for a little while. Look, my hook just Ow, fell. It oh, my. Just came in my ear. <laughs> hook fell out straight into your ear. Old trench hog. Hey, right through that brush pile on the back side of the boat. This is this makes me hey, feel good. That, where's that brush at? <laughs> where's the brush? Where's the brush at? That brush, no, I ain't no way. It, it makes you feel good. I can see green floating. We literally just put this brush out two weeks ago and there's fish in it. I like it. Big. Too big. All right. I can see it from here. Yep. Too big, ain't it? Yep. 17, some change. 
All right. Hold on, I got a bot. Don't do it right now. Yeah, that's a keeper. <laughs> he's gonna be a dead keeper. I'll let him. He's got it in his throat. I left him too long. No, it's in his mouth. Oh, he's just bait up. Yeah, that. Sad, we just threw back a 17 and a half incher, but we're allowed to keep that right there, baby. Man, I'd be super happy if I was him. I was Wouldn't about to say, this is fist and feel better than anywhere in the lake. We ain't gonna worry about the little guy over there. <laughs> well, I didn't have the camera on, and we've got a fourth. Didn't need to open that up. It's actually the perfect size. You guys missed my acrobatic skills. I got myself a little bit of rug burn action. He caught it on a, the most satisfying bait ever, a drop shot. So I'm probably feeling I'm gonna have to do that as well with the slick, it's slicking off here. Well, I do not enjoy it myself. I mean, I got sweat dripping down my rear, like the hole on the rear of my cheeks, in between them. It is down there. Cheers my slide off my feet here in a minute. I got so much sweat <laughs> running down my leg. Drop shot time, what do you think about it? Uh, that's two bites I've had on this one so far. I'm coming right to the brush ball right there where you just cast it. Oh, got him. Yep, keep her. There we go. Okay, dude, okay, I'm just gonna throw it out there. You know how many times I threw th through there with a giant worm? And then we pick up the like, oh so tiny rigs. The old tiny stuff. All right, there we go, yellow. Yellow it is. I'm in that trot line. Here, push, push this forward. Here. Let me push this forward. Just hold him. Go hold. get him. Oh, come on. Oh my God, he's still on. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that. Yeah, no, we this area up right here but see, guess what yeah but you got the fish i know let's see where he's been leave my finger poking through keeper. that's going that's gonna get rid of the smaller of the keepers that's a good that's in there it's in the other box bam that was kind of a cluster you got caught on the only trot line that we knew was there that we did not cut oh look he's right there that's what we're replacing with do what yeah we can get him going that's a good one it's a good little upgrade it's like a pound We can probably leave. Well, we're gonna have to leave that area for sure. Yeah. Blew it up we're like Cardi B. Back and hit it again, but... Oh, dude, dude that was a bass. There's another one just came up. Don't hang it, whatever you do. I had a fish. I had a fish. I don't know. So big? I don't know. It head shook right when it ate it, though. It... Could be a slot, could not be, I don't know. <clears throat> slot. Seems like a four pounder. He wasn't a keeper. For it. It's so funny saying that he wasn't a keeper because he was pretty good. But what I should need to do is retire that damn drop shot. It wasn't gonna weigh. It was a good fish. God dang, that metal is hot on the old butt. <laughs> oh my God. All right, retire this. Four. I'm gonna let him go. Yeah, go ahead. I got another one right now. Probably want the net for this thing just because I don't want to lose it with this hook. I didn't get a hook. Literally, I just got it in. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. Coming up. What does it look like? It's keeper size. Ooh. That one. God well, dang. Help. That one will help. That's a perfect one. I, I like that. Mm. <laughs> I'm hoping that the one you just put back in. That's which perfect. I don't think people are gonna. I don't even know if we showed that, but oh no, might, I think he's good. You man. think he might I be really, too long? I know. I think he's good. We just had to put one back in. That was we caught earlier because just went over 16 inches. Like we thought it might have been shrinking inside the live well, 16 but 16 and a 16 and like it was actually like right at 16. They can't touch the line. And it was touching. It just wasn't it. So oh, here we go. Perfect. Just under 16. Hey, look, that's what you get for following the rules. We just put one in, next cast, you're doing a, a good one. That's a good one. See, that's a, <laughs> that works. I mean, we're not on, that's a jinx, but. <laughs> just, look at this, I think I should retie. 
Yeah, I'll just keep that net down. No, you got a fish that's probably gonna help. I don't know. You had my my bait there for a second. I think I'm about to throw this little old whatever the hell this thing is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like three casts with it. That's it. This one's a little long. He is a little long, but I think he's just right. He he's looks, a little long, but he's just right. He looks a little long, so he's going to be 15. And some change? He's over 15, but he's under 16. I hope you're right. Are you right? You wouldn't put that in there? All right. We got to do something here. We're fishing and getting a bond. We need to get this fish is for sure good. Grab him. Nice. Uh, definitely that Oh! God, they're dude. hard to hold on to. <laughs> oh my God! That we got lucky right there. This one feels small for sure. See you later. <sighs> Rotated it up because I mean we're just throwing a drop shot on there for the last like what ten minutes? Yeah. Nothing. So that's five fish off this one brush pile so far. Or two brush piles. This is like the perfect depth reaching. No, that's crankbait. Good. That's what I was saying last weekend. That's it just perfect. reaches perfectly. That is a good looking crank. You can't tell me that's not a good looking crankbait. Oh, yeah. That's a damn good looking crankbait. You gonna put that live jacket on or? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably should do that. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. Look, it's hot. Dying. <laughs> oh, that was a Too, so I can't get the okay. I got a little thing. I got a Yours is better than mine though. Yeah, mine is two giants, two megas. That's how that one is. That is big. Dude, if this lake didn't have a slot, we would have we would have 20 plus today. Yeah, We'd have 20. like 23 pounds or so, roughly 23. That's crazy. We're just there we go. Yeah. I don't know, you tell me. Came right through the brush pile and ate it. Here it comes coming up now. Oh. Now he just caused the issues. Now he just caused issues. Son of a bitch. Oh, Lordy. It's all good. I got it. Oh, wow. He's really got a little fess going on. That's what I'm saying. It's actually not that bad. Here, just get it you out. You may of. go back there and he's, check. Yeah, he's not. Here's take the the weight out of that net. We're good. You want to check the other one? Or? I don't think we need to. You think so? No. Didn't help. Oh. 100%. None of the footage was was there. Chance, literally. Oh my God, Chance. He punted the camera off the back. I'm not kidding, guys. I, I had a footage of all the fish being loaded into the bag, going through the through the tank, weighing it. I don't think any of it's there. All I have is it on my. I took cell phone footage. Thank God you guys saw of it actually being weighed in. What do you think, Chance? 14.37. Has it been pretty decent today? No, not really. Is that pretty good for right now? 14.37 is. Okay. Oh, we're leading it. Okay, seven, seven and a half. There you go. You're right. Oh God. Oh well. You, you saw the fish being caught, and you you get to see it be weighed in. Jesus. At least the camera still, <laughs> the camera still works. So we end up winning. First place. Yes. Feels good. We won. That felt really. I had to go in and actually take a polygraph. So between weighing in and right now and getting fuel, I guess I had to go take a polygraph. And this is the image of me taking it. I was. I asked the guy, can I can I film it? And he said, No, I can't let you film. I was like, We take a photo of me when I'm doing it. Wait. He's like, Yeah, I'll do that for you. Yes. That's a win. So I went and did it, and we won. Yes, we won like three grand. Feels good. I mean, these are considered bigger tournaments, and there's some good anglers in them, and I feel good about it. We won. Yes, I told you guys at the very beginning, catching those overs is extremely difficult. Everything everything worked out. It measured, it worked, we weighed them. I feel good about it. What I don't feel good about is this camera was dropped off the back of the boat, so I don't know if it's going to last very much longer. But thanks for hanging out with me over here on the channel. I do love you guys. It's good to see you guys again. Uh, it's, just, it's good to come back and win a derby. Win a, win a, win a good old-fashioned derby. I do love you guys. I am out of here.
Let's go and roll that sweet succulent mother trucking out of my job. Oh!